following on from a previous video, which will be up here, which is a palm strikeies. Ow. This is palm strike part two, where we're going to palm strike. We have a series of videos called I Bet That Hurts, and there's three of them which deal with pressure points, nerve points, din mat points, whatever you want to call them, they're ouch points. Basically designed to enhance the technique. They're not the be or end all because trying to find a pressure point on attacking someone with a duffel coat on, impossible. Some people are non-responders. Exactly. Fine. So we'll put a little link up there to, I bet that hurts part one. Follow the links through, you should get part two and part three. So I'm going to take your hat off. And Chris is going to just go through on my face the points that we're going to hit for the palm strike, yeah? With your hand. Put, put your cane away, boy. Palm hill strikes are really good, especially if you can do them in a nice, relaxed manner. Nice and soft part of the hand, so I'm looking at the conception vessel line. Any downward strike, coming down, striking that, especially, you've got the third eye point here, which is quite nice to hit, isn't it, Kev? You poke me right in the eye. I poke him in the eye as well. As well, if I miss, I've got the nose, and in the little dimple of the chin here, nice little downward angle. That was how hard was that tap? Hard enough. Hard enough. I barely touched him. You're looking at here discombobulation, here Pain. eyes watering, nosebleed. Really yeah. not feeling too good. Knockout. And that one there's a knockout. It, just a little tap and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing stars and flying pigs. Ooh. If we go to the side and do that downward strike, we're just running along the jawline here, which is the stomach line. I'm not going to do that because I'm, it's going to drive me home later. <laughs> but this arc coming down here, it doesn't matter if you hit specific pressure points or not, or lines, because it's going to hurt. When we do this with our cane, you don't need a lot of pressure, a lot of force, or to be particularly accurate. If that's coming, hitting, striking and dragging down anywhere along these points whatsoever... Yeah, good luck Vienna. Yeah, if you do a nice down and you can follow it up, yeah. I don't mind. There are lots on the head, but the head is a very dangerous place to hit. But I quite like coming across, striking the jaw. This is what we call a soft area because it's mobile. I thought I had a very rugged jaw. Not after I finish with you. <laughs> if you can imagine this coming across with your palm strike, that's going to take him out nicely. Dinner, dancing? No, you'll be lucky for a pickled gherkin and a bag of chips. But come to the torso, collarbone. This coming down on the collarbone, very good. This coming down on the collarbone, even better. Top of the chest or the sternum, this coming down is very good. I do, that's one of my favorite strikes. Bringing this down, even if you don't hit very hard and just drag it down. <laughs> and if you can imagine doing the- Oh, it's your sternal notch rub, no. Very, no. very, very painful. Okay. Kev's going to get his own back in a minute and actually show you what happens with a light tap <laughs> on the chest. Striking people in the back is never a good idea. But if you look at Kev's blatant attempt to sell merchandising, click on the link below, you've got what they call the angel wings. And if you hit somebody here, you, can, you. you can win them. You know, pain, are you? No, 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 no. Breezy day. Breezy day. I've been dropped on this area from a height in a jiu-jitsu class and I was very winded and very knocked out. Let's face it, we've all walked backwards into something like a, a coat hook or a door or something and the first thing it does, it just takes your whole breath away. Bollards. Bollards, are they all evil? Yep. I would never strike somebody in the back with a cane. No. End of story. Um, hitting people in the back is pretty... Well, it's just... Un Dishonourable. It's un-British, isn't it? Damn so. But needs must when the devil vomits on your eider down, as they say. It may be a necessity. So you're looking to win them, not damage them. Got the arm. Anywhere on the arm is coming down. Now, when I hit the arm and when I hit the chest, I don't do a hard 
strike like this. I let my hand go limp. So if I, you see, it's just not. If I go relax. I'm, I'm going to get to hit you today, aren't I? Yes, you turned into Spike Milligan. <laughs> Callum's very happy today. I really like hitting the bicep, mm. if they've got one. <laughs> I'm ending this up. I know. On this the fleshy part here, there's a nice point in there. Even if you don't hit the exact point, it will drop it. Back of the wrist. I have had this done on the back of my hand and I said a few choice words. Mm. Was they French? Funny enough, yes. <laughs> I think we've all been there, mate. Yeah, so, but doing that with the cane, bringing these palm heel strikes down anywhere on the elbow, very difficult on the elbow, but doing it with the cane yeah. should be really nice. And if we look how we're going to get into this, if I've grabbed Chris and he does the palm strike, yeah. it's, a, it's a nice position to actually do it. He's covered here so I can't attack. Please don't hurt me, Kev. I won't hurt you, I'm just going to punch you in the face. You dream on. Ow. I'm in the last position I want to be in, which is the floor. If I'm on the floor, empty hand, I'm trying to palm heel, not really going to be effective. You're better off punching something or biting, I don't know. But with the cane, I've got lots of nice targets. So if I'm going to borrow a callum, anything with the shin involving a palm strike with a cane, depending on footwear, maybe the toes, just here, gallbladder 32. We love that one. Some people condition this, so if you hit it there and it doesn't work, hit it again a few times, but very popular MMA Thai boxers, they condition this. We do in our style as well. I bet it still hurts. The hip, it's nice and bony. Everyone likes a good strike in the groin. Anything on the side of the knee or even the top of the knee. Kev. Oh. You managed to crack the ankles. Brilliant. Now if Callum swaps his legs over, on the inside of the thigh just here is spleen 11. And that really hurts as well. If I'm lying and Callum's coming in being all, well he's obviously the bad guy because he's got a Cobra Kai t-shirt <laughs> and I'm Team Miyagi. So if I was to, just well, like, no, <laughs> you know, but it's very difficult to get power. I might be able to get a good slot in. But if I'm palm striking with the cane, anywhere on these points, oh look, groin. Extending the cane out, I'm still palm striking, but I'm using my hand to lever it. And then I can obviously fold him up, lock him over, whatever it is I need to do. But using your palm to use the cane to do the strikes, that's going to hurt. Yeah, that will, that's the one I'm worried about most. So I'll be very careful. If I strike the ankle, that's going to hurt. That's going to drop him. That point in there. And the advantage of this one is if I strike that through there, I can then get other points. I can, you can't see what the cane is doing, right. can you? You really don't want to know. <laughs> but I can do the same strikes on the ground. If I'm trying to hit it, it'd probably just start jumping up and down on me if I was um, slapping. Don't forget, with the hung guard, rather than just doing this, I can be using this hand as well to pull, pull, push. Same with the sword strike, it's the same principle, bow strike, all of this connects to each other. So rather than just palm striking, I'm pulling, I'm getting that double in. Double taps, as we know, Kev likes those, going for the hooks, and if he looms in, which he's really not going to do, is he? <laughs> if he goes for a grab, I can strike the hands. Cane deep bone, that will lose. I got his face, and I can do the last resort throw if I want to, or maybe even an impaling technique. But I need to soften him up first with my palm heel strikes. Well, that's the end of this video, and we hope that the principles you've seen here you can actually take away and use, and just put it up into your little toolbox, nice little toolkit. You need a tool chest. Remember, guys, stay away from the head. Last resort. Definitely stay away from the back. We're talking life or death here. Um, stay away from the floor, unless you're standing on it or running on it. There are two types of people in the world. Yeah. Those who carry a cane. Mm -hmm. Those who get in the trouble and wish they were carrying their cane. Mm. And those with good hats.
Thanks for watching the video, we hope you like it, and we look forward to hearing from you. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. If you want to look as smart as we do, don't forget to check out the merchandise on Teesprings. Check out our social media accounts to see what's going on in the world of Sons of Cain. Hit that bell and free the fear.